So, and these three examples, I just want to kind of cover this real quick as, as one thing that we'll be looking at is, let's just call this one f of x here, is identifying if it is increasing or decreasing at an increasing, decreasing rate. So what I explained last class period or a couple things that I showed Kevin last class period was um, basically when I were looking at identifying on the function as far as it increasing, we're basically just looking at the first derivative, which would basically be the change within our um, g of x values, which is the same thing, guys, as like finding our slope, right? And that's what the rate change is. So you can see here, I'm going plus 5, plus, um, oh, I'm sorry, plus 5, plus 7, plus 9, plus 11, plus 13. Do you guys agree with me? Right? Then, on the next set of changes, you guys can see that, again, I am increasing once more. So that the green is going to represent the second derivative. Would you guys agree with me? So what I can say here, Andrew, is g a prime of x is greater than 0. And h prime of x is um, greater than 0. So the main important thing I want you to say is since the first and second derivative is increasing, what we can say is the graph is increasing at an increasing rate. It's increasing at an increasing rate. Okay, and if you guys think about like, think about this, think about a concave um, uh, function, look at the slopes. Do you guys agree these slopes are getting bigger, right? And they're getting, and they're increasing at an increasing rate. So therefore you can say that there's going to be um, a concave up function.